there's good and then there's great in terms of early semi-automatic pistol collecting. In front of me, I have a Borchardt C93 pistol, a beautiful example. This is the earliest of its kind in terms of using a detachable spring-loaded box magazine. And this is the father to what became the Luger pistol as we know it. This example in front of me sets itself apart from the limited surviving examples on the market today in that it includes a case with a matching numbered shoulder stock and four matching numbered magazines. And it's in beautiful condition. The case itself is just as special as the gun. It has an inscription on top with a plaque that says Premio del General Pablo Ricchieri. Pablo Ricchieri was a very important figure, understandably, because he was presenting this serial number 90 early production piece due to his loyalty to the company Ludwig Luve in Germany. He was a, an Argentine armaments officer that would purchase guns for the Argentine military. And he was instrumental in a large order of Argentine contract Mauser Model 1891 rifles to the Argentine military. And I imagine we, we can't quite link it together, but that's very likely the reason he was given this pistol as a uh, premio or prize or award for giving the company so much business and also likely a way to butter him up to get him to potentially purchase these Borchardt C93 pistols for the Argentine military, which unfortunately did not seem to happen. The Borchardt pistol as a whole is really forward thinking for the time. With this detachable spring-loaded box magazine, it can hold ammunition and shoot semi-automatic, which, which in the early 1890s, this was still a real new concept. This was right at the beginning of uh, smokeless powder being used, so this was something feasible. And for the time, this was a pretty well put together piece. It has this early toggle lock system. And, and Hugo Borchardt designed this and it went through quite a bit of military testing with quite a few different countries trying to gain interest. One of the main complaints about it was that it was overpowered and unbalanced. If you noticed, it has all this weight back here. So when I'm holding it out in front of me, it kicks, it has a tendency to kick. And it's also a pretty powerful round, the, the 765 board chart round. So the company actually tried to get Hugo Borchardt, the designer, to improve it. And he was so fixed on this design, he, he liked it too much and was kind of stubborn, really, to say the least. He didn't want to change it. So they appointed George Luger to work on this design and improve it. And so what he did was shorten the round a bit just to lower the power a little bit and made what we know of today as the Luger. But this is the beginning of the Luger system. This is before it, this is the, the, the father to the Luger, if, if you will. But this example in my hand is just beautiful. And it really stands for something more in that it was presented to somebody so special and still remains in this condition with its case inscribed to said person. For early pistol collectors or military collectors, if you want to own the best board chart, this might just be it in front of me. This pistol with, it, with its inscribed case to a prominent figure, Pablo Ricchieri, is gonna be offered for sale in our August premiere auction. I strongly encourage you to bid on it.